Welcome back, everybody. Today starts a challenge. This challenge is called the 500 Kilo Challenge. I want to see not only what I can make with 500 Kilo as my lift, what can you make with 500 Kilo as your lift? There's going to be a few requirements on this. This is not the Badger airship. I call this the Dragonfly because of the big old round bulbous eyeballs and the quote wings and the quote tail yeah okay I'm stretching a little bit but you get the idea they instead of the badger where I took the base ship you had the little cockpit you had this and then the storyline asked you to add this and that's all I had and then I you know I had some back and whatever else in this challenge you're only restricted to 500 kilo weight. Now, some of you are already maxed out on your saves, so you don't have a save where you have just a single unextended airship. You can see up in the top left, I haven't expanded my balloon. Um, and apparently I took some damage up here and didn't realize it. Well, let's fix that. That looks fun on screen. Hey, you didn't fix your ship, dummy. All right, we fixed our ship. So, you can do this on public test. I am on public test. You're going to see items in here that is on public test right now and may or may not make it into the game proper. But, we're going to test this out. So, uh, if I can pick the right button, you can see I'm at 495 out of 500. The only other caveats I would say, you're going to need a minimum of two upgraded uh, turbines. I have a third. And another damaged item. I just went through a lightning storm and it kind of wrecked me, to be honest. So I have all the equipment and all and everything. I have a third one I can pop up by taking this out right here. So what can we do with it? Well, you can see I've got the new filtering deck here. I've got all kinds of mats. You know, the standard. I figured out a, a cooler way, I think, to do the engines on the back. You put them up there on railings and put them tight together. And I think it actually looks really impressive that way. Of course, I've got the docking plank. The bubbled windows. I've got lots of storage hidden up here. So, deep storage, if you will. For items I don't use that often. Paints and whatnot batteries. I've got lots of batteries. I've been to a whole lot of places trying to find everything. Uh, to... So you come in and you've got this the way... Okay, now, on public test, these guys can charge anything. And they're super fast. So I don't even have the original anymore. It kind of looks like it's pinning that poster up. And I think it looks kind of cool. Almost like the poster's a tapestry. So I thought that was kind of neat. Put that in there. Got the wood floor still. I changed it to the moon interior. I still have the Mars ceiling. But you've got the moon interior. So now we have a much more spacious back than the Badger did. Uh, again, this is the Dragonfly, if I didn't say that. Uh, I still have my little eating nook. Oh, for those who didn't see it. Yeah, you can put the rain catcher on the wall, and it works. It's pretty, pretty funny that it works that way, but it does. Um, we have more storage now, so we can fit more items in, in fewer spaces. I did a ladder room here. Know that you can put not only the uh, tablets behind here, but you can put the original charger. So this bad boy will fit behind here, but the big charger doesn't, unfortunately. So, standard stuff. Um, for the challenge, you need the fabricator, you need the boiler, and you need this. The reason I say you need this is this weighs 25. If you want to be able to place anything else down to do any other work, any uh, equipment, you need 25 space. No, wait, so you can pop, take this out, put another piece of equipment down, use it, do everything you need to do, put, put it back, put this back. Um, I have a ladder room here, so I can get up. I did have a private deck, but I was running out of space. And so I've got deep, deep storage up here. Stuff that I still just... Can't... 
can't bring myself to part with. Probably should, but anyways. Uh, I used the singular railing to get these way up as high as I could get them to create a better sense of space below it. I used to have a deck right here at first, and then I just I just kept needing more and more space. So, we kind of measle all the way down. I got a bathroom in my little tiny ship. It's got Skyflix connected, you know. Data, data in. We can uh, watch some stuff from the space station. Uh, I have not been able to find a second clock. I've been to like 20 different towers, but I was going to put a second clock here, so whatever. Just put a put that. So the, quote, incinerating toilet, in air quotes, of course. Um, lots of storage for lots of things. You can see I have all the stuff. All the stuff you would need. Got the new war poster. Uh, light up, light down. Man, I did take a lot of damage recently. Uh, lanterns everywhere, that's just my thing, because, you know, hey, we want my loose power in a storm that wrecks my ship, and we, you know, have lanterns just in case. You can now walk all the way back here. Got the bunny rabbit. Uh, this is a cool thing. This rotten food stacks to ten. Cook them one at a time, fifteen each. That's a hundred and fifty hunger right there in one spot that never goes away. Now that it's rotten, it'll stay there forever. So just put a, ten plants in one of your boxes and just leave it there, and you have 150 food indefinitely. It's a smart idea. I liked putting this light up because of the way the shadow works with it, the shadow play. I think it uh, adds some dramatic effect in here this light to kind of highlight. It doesn't highlight it very well. We, we need spotlights. That's what we need. Harbor floors again. Uh, the door is also Mars. So, then you come up into the ship proper. You got the bug eyes, of course. Uh, I did have the glass floor here, but because of these are glass floors, I don't really need it. It's very easy to land this ship. Uh, and to fly it, so I'm like, nah, screw it, wood looks better. Got the copy bar right there, little plush. Um, radar's right here, so I can see everything. Got a little uh, partition between the bedroom and here. Uh, this also helps to kind of partition it off. Um, I would love to, th if this would resize a little bit so we could put it the proper direction and not have it stick out, but it is what it is. The, the leaning poster frame. Got your captain's chair that we can't sit in. Uh, the see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil gnomes. Um, I have a garden. I have an indoor garden, yes. The new terrarium pot. Uh, I just put them up there and, and turn each one, one turn, so that each is a slightly different view. It looks like they're all different, but they're all exactly the same. I don't like that they hover. They, there's no direct contact with the things and it's kind of, or this one that goes way too far in. Doesn't make a lot of sense, but it is what it is. So it brings some green space into the uh, ship, makes it kind of you know, makes it kind of neat. Look, with, with the glass ceiling, almost looks like I am growing plants in superior air, you know, like maybe like tomatoes in here, uh, the small tomatoes, the cherry tomatoes. Then we've got the clock. Uh, just a little centerpiece to almost as if it's a compass, even though we have our compass up there. This is my new slide a bed. Uh, the, it doesn't really slide, obviously. The idea is this piece would slide over, this piece would slide over and hitch up, and then you would have a bed, and currently it is in day bed fashion. So I try with each of my builds to bring something new to it, some new idea or design. Also, I can get all the way around this. I've set it up to where there's plenty of space to move around. Got the pet. Now, for anyone who has dogs, have you ever tried to keep all your dog's toys in one area? It's rough, and this is kind of the idea. He's got his toys everywhere, but they're all around his bed, so he's got, got his little plush to sleep with. He's got his feeder and waterer, you know, that little shtick that I run with. Um... This gnome and that gnome are kind of like the builder gnomes because there's five total. Uh, you've got your hedgehog, another one of the terrarium deals. 
He's got his football to play with. Of course, I sleep right next to him. I do have the, the, um, what's it called? Jungle poster that you get at the very beginning. And, yeah, all of this in 495 kilos. So what I can do is I can take this guy out, and then I can place any piece of equipment I need, because it's all right here. Uh... I actually have enough for an extra docking plank, but I didn't like it because it's exactly this way. And I had it angling here, but then the stick stuck up right here and it didn't look right. Um, I could put the third turbine on. I actually had... I can put it back now because I have enough space. I had a double railing in front of that box up there, and the turbine just mounted directly in front of it. I used this to get up, which is awesome, by the way. If, if you don't know about this yet, if this all makes it to live like this, great. Whoop, no, no. That's kind of a problem. It doesn't tell you when you're side close to it, so you kind of gotta guess. And then you can just come up here, and you jump up on top of your ship. It's a great, great, great way to get up on top of your ship. It's fantastic. So I had a double railing, but then I maxed out my weight, and then I changed something, now I have a little bit of weight left. And then the third turbine can just fit right up here, it doesn't get in the way of anything, it's still under the balloon, and I can reach maximum ceiling with this. So, the only thing that I'm, I guess you would say, missing is I don't have four engines. So this will go a maximum of 97 wind dependent, so it's 89 to 97, instead of four turbines will hit about 104. I think the the minimum it'll go with the wind is 94, 96, something like that. So yeah, nice little ship. Uh, I've got one more idea. Um, this is also why you can use PTB. You can wipe all this out, redo it, and it does not affect your live ship in any way. Yes, yes, hello. So yeah, 500 kilo challenge. What can you do? Show it. Let's let's uh, grow this little concept and see what uh, see what cool shenanigans we can all get up to. Thanks for watching, everybody.